Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the King Kone KC868 G16 dimmer controller because before I have a problem with the home assistant that the MQTT configuration uh, have some, some issue about the linear issue so in this video we have fixed this bug and we have rewrite the configuration for the D16 dimmer we will look at how it works you can see it here uh, this is D16 dimmer controller because that will support Tuya mobile phone application and the home assistant you can integrate uh, this controller to the home assistant by MQTT so this Home assistant and Tuya can work at the same time with the D16 dimmer controller. And here you can see we have integrated to home assistant. And here is updates. We have write the new uh, MQTT configuration. So you can uh, copy and paste from here, or you can download this file. Uh, so that will be very easy to integrate by MQTT. That we have test uh, because the linear problem. You can see uh, this is. 12% uh, uh, that have output 1.2 volt because the dimmer controller is output 0 to 10 volt so in home assistant is uh, change the brightness you can see the brightness to uh, 0 to 100% so we have uh, write the configuration so you can see the different watch and the different uh, percent uh, 58% uh, almost uh, 4.9 volt and the 7, 75 and you can see 7.6 volt and 100 percent and almost 10 volt okay let's test the pra practice the uh, d16 with the multimeter and here you can see we have used this d16 dimmer controller uh, you can use the tuya but this time i have integrated to home assistant so you can see uh, we can use the multimeter to test the voltage output and this is dimmer channel 1, channel 1 output we can test for the channel 1 uh, so you can see I can use this uh, positive and negative and connect it here and connect it here ok, you can see now is zero voltage ok, now let's uh, change the brightness in home assistant and you can see at here we can go to this dashboard for D16 channel you can see this is channel 1 I can turn on and also I can click it here and you can see this is 100% so you can see the voltage is 10 volt and you can see I can change the brightness uh, uh, 84 so you can see 80, uh, 8.5 uh, because a little uh, only a little one difference uh, that is normal so you can see I change uh, uh, 74 you can see this is 7.5 and you can see uh, 6.64 and 60 6.6 and you can see I change to 43 uh, you can see 4.4 and we can change to 20 20% 20 uh 19% and you can see uh 1.9 and we change to uh 11% uh 10% you can see uh 1.0 and also I can change to this 3% uh 0.3 so this is very good value and I can also turn off you can see I turn off so you can see zero watt. So this time you can update your D16 MQTT configuration if you have a D16 timber to, to use it. So you can just download this uh, configuration.yaml file at here and you can just uh, replace it. So this uh, percent will be very good and it will be fixed to the linear problem. You can see this is channel one for uh, D16 and this is channel 2 and this is channel 3 so just until 16 channel you can see this is 16 okay so this time you can use the D16 dimmer uh, for your home assistant is perfect okay thanks for watching